And this one is just different from all the others. You're going to put this in all of your tubes. Hi, my name is Marlene Mullen, and I work at Eastside College Preparatory School. And the main goal of the lab was to become familiarized with polymerase chain reactions, PCR. Our seniors did something called a polymerase chain reaction, or PCR lab, and that's where you amplify or copy your DNA. And so the seniors actually um, extracted their own DNA from their cheek cells. Then they are going to copy it, looking for a, a neutral mutation. And we're going to run their DNA, and they're going to see if they have the mutation on one chromosome, two chromosomes, or don't have the mutation at all. This is definitely technology that they've seen before, and they feel like they're using really professional equipment. But I've always seen it on Bones and CSI Miami, and I'm like, oh, that's really cool. So it's really nice to interact with something that I always saw other people do. I like how with one strand of DNA, we could find out one person's whole genetic background. It's much easier than it looks because on TV, they make it look all complicated, and it's like this really big big mystery but it's actually simple steps that basically anybody could do with the right materials okay. so I find it very intriguing my name is Johanna Anton and I am the president of Baybag the Bay Area Biotechnology Education Consortium the work we do at Baybag makes biotech education accessible to all students in the Bay Area Baybeck provides equipment and supplies to schools like Eastside Prep because it is very expensive to implement biotech education in the classroom. Because we are centralized, we can leverage our equipment to service schools all around the Bay Area. One of the things teachers really value about being part of Baybeck is the professional development and training opportunities that we supply for them. We traditionally have multiple workshops around the Bay Area every year to train teachers on our curriculum as well as to train them on the most relevant aspects of science education. I also go to some of the um, workshops that are offered to learn about some new labs and it helps me to meet new um, other teachers that are also teaching the same type of curriculum. It helps to keep me current in the technology that is occurring today. We love having this equipment. Um, so the students always say that these labs are the ones they remember when they graduate. The equipment is equipment we couldn't pay for to have in the classroom ourselves, so it gives them uh, experience using the equipment that they might use in college. It makes them excited to come to class. Um, it gives us a lot more to talk about in class. And we can refer back to these labs. You know, if I have them in another science class, if I have them in advanced biology next year, I can still refer back to these labs they remember. I feel like I'm a scientist. Like, I'm just like, whoa, this is cool. I'm doing what I see one, like my idols do on TV. I'm like, I'll be just like them one day. I'm really enjoying this lab so far, and uh, I like the equipment. Thanks. It's really great. I hope everything will remain the same. I hope that we'd be able, and students after me will be able to use them too. My name is Jimmy Ikeda, and um, I've been a biotech teacher for now nine years, I believe. Um, I am the uh, biotech program director at San Mateo High School. Uh, we are fortunate that we have a four-year biotech program, whether it's in biotech, whether it's in molecular bio, biology, organic chemistry. Many of our students who will complete the four years of biotech program actually do go off to college majoring in science. For a lot of these students who are interested in science, this is the one opportunity while in high school to see if science is really what they want to pursue. My favorite thing about biotech is all the hands-on labs because they're all really different, but they're all really interesting, and they're all very hands-on, and I'm one of the types of people who love hands-on experiences. We're doing uh, different experiments with plants. We're doing some uh, plant tissue cloning, uh, experiments with different hormones. Um, we do some ELISAs, which are enzyme-linked immunosorbent assays using 
horseradish root peroxidase. Many of the colleges which students from here go to, they report that the techniques and the, even the materials and everything here is beyond advanced compared to the colleges they go to. So I feel that this experience has really prepared me for any field that I'll be going into. Baybeck has a very collaborative relationship with San Mateo High School. Their advanced biotech program manufactures materials that travel around San Mateo County with our kids and are used to support our curriculum. In turn, Baybeck provides materials and equipment to non-biotech classes at San Mateo High School, for example, their biology classes, as well as providing internship opportunities for their summer interns. What makes our program so unique is our internship program. Um, our internship program is a summer internship. It's a minimum of 180 hours. Um, our students are paired with scientists in the scientific community, either at biotech companies or research institutions. It's not just sitting in a classroom and your teacher lecturing you, but you actually learn by doing. Um, I have students working on biofuels. I have students that are working on um, ways to purify um, cornstarch. I have students that are working at research institutions, working with Drosophila, Melangaster, to study the evolutionary developments of these fruit flies. We just have so many resources available for students that we can really experience science, not just learn it in the classroom. I feel kind of privileged and just kind of like excited because it's new to me. And I just really enjoy it because I'm learning new things, but I'm also like having fun. My name is Lori Lindbergh. I'm the executive director of the Bay Bio Institute, which is affiliated with Bay Bio, Northern California's life science trade association with um, almost 500 life science members. Um, BBI is fortunate to be at the hub of the world's most innovative and experienced life science cluster. As a consequence, we get to see firsthand the emerging needs of the life science industry. Um, because of this, we're very fortunate to be partnering with Baybeck. Baybeck's extensive reach into Bay Area high schools and community colleges is so important for um, our efforts to bring industry-relevant education to students and to ensure that we are developing the skills needed to sustain ongoing innovation in the industry. I'm Elaine Johnson. I'm the executive director of BioLink, a national advanced technological education center funded by the National Science Foundation based at City College of San Francisco. I've been on the board for the Baybeck organization for a number of years. It is truly an amazing group and serves so many students and we haven't seen exactly that kind of model in many other places in the country. We can share curriculum that we can freely share, ideas about equipment depots where we can have a distribution center for equipment, and numbers of ways that uh, we can support those teachers that are giving so much to their students, both in skills, but also in excitement and continuation of their interest in, uh, in the sciences. In the 20 years that Baybeck has been in existence, we have been able to partner with corporations and with trade associations and with many academic institutions to try to bring very relevant, on-point biotech experiences through our curriculum to teachers and students in the Bay Area. In addition, we have been able to reach tens of thousands of students with in-classroom hands-on biotech experiences in schools that would not otherwise be equipped or resourced to deliver those experiences without our support. What inspires me is that when I see kids doing the science, when I see kids doing their research, when I see kids completing their laboratory and getting the desirable results, um, you know, they, they have that, that look in their face. They have that, that, that what you, the jump, the little pep in their step. And that inspires me to, to continue doing what I'm doing. 
we're just really thankful to um, have the opportunity to use this equipment. So um, we really appreciate it and hope this program continues.